Hello and welcome to Talkable Gaming and once again we're looking at bolt action and another tank which let's face it everyone loves to uh, to kind of play with tanks so uh, in front of me here I have the kind of epitomous Tiger 1 from the German forces and uh, it's kind of the 156 scale hard plastic uh, German heavy tank as you can see from the bottom uh, for Warlord games so let's just flip this over and you can kind of see some examples of the kind of assembled uh, tanks on the back here so we have some uh, nicely uh, painted examples. We have a kind of a little bit of a history about the vehicle as well. And you'll also see, uh, you probably used to see when I actually look at the kit, but it's kind of coated uh, with the uh, the Zimmerit anti-magnetic mine paste, so kind of like that kind of a grid pattern that's on the armor there. And we also get a uh, German tank commander as well. So let's open this kit up and take a look at the contents inside. And here we have the contents of the kit, which uh, first of all, we have the kind of instructions. And uh, as we kind of come to expect from the Warlord kits, uh, very kind of straightforward and simple to follow. Um, you just kind of just assemble the tracks, glue them to the chassis, uh, complete the turret and there you go, you've got a finished miniature. So very kind of straightforward uh, and quick to follow. Uh, it also comes with kind of rotating turrets and also kind of a barrel that moves up and down as well. So moving on we have the, the transfer sheet as well, so it creates some kind of uh, markings on the side of your tank. And this leads us to the, uh, the kind of final section which are the sprues themselves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of zoom in on these so you can get a close look at the detailing on the kits themselves. So here we have the, the first sprue, which kind of comes with the turret, as you can see there. Um, it's very nicely detailed with these kind of the, the Zimmerit uh, anti-magnetic painting, uh, and also kind of the extra tracks have been kind of placed on the side as well. Uh, tracks nicely detailed, and we kind of have the uh, the main kind of uh, front section of the turret as well, complete with the uh, the coating, and also the side skirts as well, which unsurprisingly also have the coating as well. And we also have this kind of nice. Um, kind of tow rope detailing on there as well. Uh, the second sprue that we have in this kit is kind of like the main chassis, let's flip this over, um, and it kind of has some nice detailing in terms of the grills and also kind of the cables around there. There's also kind of extra equipment as well, such as the entrenching tool on the front there as well. Uh, at the bottom here we have the commander and he's just kind of uh, poking out, he's got his uh, head headphones in <laughs> and he's also got his arm there as well. So overall very nicely uh, detailed kit and I think what everyone's looking forward to is kind of seeing this kit assembled and how it kind of uh, stands up once it's built. So here we have the assembled Tiger One tank and a very nice kit to kind of assemble. Uh, probably a little bit more complex than some of the other Warlord Games kits. Um, the the, tra the tanks, for example, were um, some, for, for instance, the Sherman, I think they came in like one piece. Uh, these were like four parts for the, the actual tracks and then we had like, the main suspension and then the gear at the front as well there. Uh, not too tricky though, uh, fairly straightforward. Everything fitted together nicely. Um, the plastic was easy to work with, uh, free of quite a few mold lines. It wasn't, uh, it was fairly well cast. Um, in terms of this miniature, I've left the kind of the turret free moving. And one of the nice things, if you actually notice the kind of the, the back part of the turret here, it just about brushes past the aerial there, so you can actually pretty much go nearly full kind of circle round without hitting the uh, the aerial, which is quite nice. It gets about there and it gets stuck. So overall, very nice miniature. Um, I did kind of point out that the it would have been nice with a few more kind of extra details you could have added to the, the main chassis. Uh, but now it's assembled, you can quite easily see it's quite nicely uh, fitted out with the cables and a few of the hatches as well. So it does kind of make up for it. And the, if you look on the sides as well, uh, the anti magnetic paste as well on the, the chassis and also the turret really adds some nice details to the miniature. So let's uh, zoom out again and kind of get an overall summary, summary for this kit. And there we have it, the, uh, the Tiger One from uh, War Games, and it's uh, overall a fantastic looking kit. Um, it's kind of nice to see such kind of an iconic vehicle as well, uh, and rendered in plastic. And you can kind of get loads of these in your force, as much as you can kind of squeeze in. Also fantastic if you want to kind of like play the tank wars as well. So um, nicely detailed, especially with kind of the anti-magnetic paint. It's kind of a nice little touch, like that kind of really bring the miniatures to life. Um, as I've said before, my kind of only uh, kind of downside to this kit is that it would be nice to have a few extra kind of little components you can stick on and kind of really kind of build up the kind of the, the, the detailing on the tank there as well so but apart from that uh, excellent to build very straightforward and very kind of uh, nice nicely classic components as well so if you're uh, enjoying these bolt action videos be sure to let us know in the comments and also hit the subscribe button as well to be kept up to date with our latest bolt action theme videos so as always thanks for watching and goodbye